Hi, I'm Dr. New, and this is a minute of medicine for your mind. You know, years ago, about halfway through the school year, I took over a building as a principal for someone who was moving on. Well, he took me in a classroom and introduced me to a teacher who was obviously struggling. When we walked out the classroom, he nudged me and said, hey, I don't think she's cut out to be a teacher. Education is not the right field for her, so you need to keep an eye on her. Well, frequently, I would go in the classroom to support her, to help her through, because I knew she had some difficulties. But I found out that she was a fabulous person with a lot of passion and a lot of things to offer our students. And not only that, she had all the ingredients to be a great master teacher one day. So what was the issue? The issue was not that she was a bad teacher. She was Miss placed. See, this was her first year out of college, and the, her first assignment was in an urban school district that she knew nothing about, an urban arena. And not only in an urban school, she was placed in the hardest possible class that she could, an eighth grade math class. She was misplaced. So the next year, I took her up to the seventh grade team and introduced her to them. I said, hey, this team can help you do such and such. And then I told them what her strengths were and what she could help them do. And throughout the year, I watched the data, as I do with all my students, and I saw that her students outperformed all the other seventh grade students, not only in my building, but across the district. And check this out. Now, she works in central office as a math coach. So teachers that are having difficulties, they're assigned to her for help. You see, what I'm trying to say to you today is real simple, see. Whether you call yourself a member on the team or the leader of a team, no matter what position you play, in order to help your team perform and do better, you have to operate from the premise, from the principle and the foundational belief that there are no bad people on your team, but there may be misplaced people on your team. My point is this, man. Just because you or someone on your team may struggle at a thing doesn't mean they're bad. It simply means that they're misplaced. And all you have to do is find where they excel and properly place them there. I'm Dr. Newt, and this was a minute of medicine for your mind.